we are going to have a Lion King celebratory dining experience over at Jiko, the cooking place. Ooh. She's Zena. He's Mike. And, and together, together we're, we're Team Zai. He's Simba. She's Nala. And together we're Simbala. I don't know. You tell us. Welcome. We are here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Today is June 30th, 2019, which is our official vlog anniversary. And we are here to celebrate in a special way. It's a limited time dining experience starting today. So we thought we'd come check it out. And we're actually here on, on a, a double, double date. date. Wait till you see who our dinner guests are. It's another very famous couple. Well, we're not famous, but they're way more famous <laughs> than we are. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. Please ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Let's eat. for that special Lion King 30th anniversary meal. We're gonna give you the courses as they come. It'll be a little bit of a surprise, but the first part is the appetizer. What is it, Zena? I mean, Nala. We have some sweet potato rolls with some cinnamon butter. Yum. Speaking of Nala, look who we have here. This is one half of our double date tandem. It is Simba. And over here, it's Nala, the actual Nala. Bread is very good. It's very nice and soft and fluffy. And the butter is very, very good. It's not overly cinnamony. Cinnamony? We could just eat the butter. It is that delicious. What you're looking at here is the I Just Can't Wait to Be King starter, which is a dish featuring, as you may see, young Cedar Creek clam malata, potatoes, pomegranate, and a bone marrow finish. I got a little ahead of myself a minute ago when I mentioned appetizer with the bread and the butter, but this is actually the appetizer. The entire menu for this meal will feature dishes inspired by the circle of life Nance Igno Niyama, a story celebrating Simba's journey through life. Or Nala's journey through life. This is very adventurous for us. I've eaten three clams so far and they're very good. I like the flavor. It's very nice presentation. Oh, and by the way, you may ask, how much is this meal? We won't make you wait any further for that information. It is $65 per person, and if you are a pass holder or DDC member, then you can get a 10% discount. Seriously though, we've never had Mero, and it's sort of gelatinous, but very light, and it has some seasoning in it. You can actually taste lemon, for example, but overall, it's really a lot like a mushroom, a very soft mushroom, very tasty. This dish symbolizes the playfulness of Simba's joyous childhood and his desire to one day become King. Did we mention that there would be music coming around to the tables? Moving on to the main courses, there are two to choose from, starting off with Zena's. He is not normally a less than well done meat eater, 
But she got the ribeye. She said that sounded tasty. And you can see how pink it is. It is so good. <laughs> Seasoned well, it's not overdone at all. Awesome. And it's very juicy. Very I would hope so. Mm -hmm. And this um, little pasta here is very good. They actually look like little beans of some sort. They look like miniature garbanzos. Zena's dish altogether is the boni. <laughs> boni. No, I'm the boni. It's the bone in ribeye with hibiscus, nettles, and fragula. Did I pronounce yes, that that's correctly? That's the pasta. Right okay. Here. And my dish here is the lobster sosati with red shrimp, squid, mussels, and fragrant rice. This is one really good looking lobster tail. Behold. Pronunciation correction, it is sosatized, which is a South African dish usually composed of meat. And I haven't read that it's normally uh, shellfish, but in this case, definitely shellfish, lobster tail, awesome. And it has to do, the word is derived from having to do with being on skewers and in a spicy sauce. So we definitely have that. I haven't tried the lobster yet. I've tried the rice. Very flavorful, nice and soft. And I've tried these pearl onions, it seems. Very good as well. It's not straight up onion flavor, it's stewed in the juices. It's also kind of a uh, Asian dish, really, if you think about it. So they had that chewy muscle. Muscle. We have some cauliflower in here. We have some shrimp. Let's get into the shrimp. The meal is nice and warm to hot. Let's dig into this lobster tail. It's on a skewer. How will we attack this? This is a pretty good size. We'll just go for a big bite right off the bat. Heads or tails on the lobster tail? Definitely heads on the tail. <laughs> it's also tender, not too chewy and all of that. Perfectly flavorful. Mm. Not too over seasoned or anything. I really like to taste the meat itself. I didn't like it. That's our joke in the family for if we finish our meal, we say we didn't like it. Being ironic and deadpan. And Zena even provided me a piece of this world's most delicious steak over here. That's as far as we got on it together. We're gonna take the rest home. And what did... Feed it to the lions. Yes. Simba and Nala are gonna eat that because I think he said that that was his favorite dish of the two. He's not a normal shellfish eater either. <laughs> <laughs> As you watch Xena slash Nala begin to eat the third course, let's add some detail about the second course that we didn't add before. It was called the Be Prepared second course, and it was inspired by the Eerie Elephant Boneyard and Simba's courage to persevere through trials and tribulations. The third course is called specifically the Hakuna Matata, just like on Xena's shirt. Zoom. It celebrates balance as Simba grows up and learns what is truly needed to successfully lead the Pride Lands. This dessert features caramelized orange, chocolate shoe, and playful foliage. And that's shoe, C-H-O-U-X. And it sounds just like shoe, but not like chucks. Chucks are shoes, so. And chocolate, what a great mixture. This consists of reflecting on your journey with a selection of friandais and teas to cap off your meal. Check this out. Yes, they gave us a bottle of their berry tea. The friandais are in the shape of lions. They're so cute. Oh, Zena's a little surprised there. Meow. <laughs> And our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful server, Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y, also made sure that we got these orange chocolate truffles. And we are very thankful. She was phenomenal, very friendly throughout the evening, as well as uh, one of the uh, management cast members who came around. His name was Jonathan. He was very friendly, checking on everybody's table, and we are very thankful. This is a phenomenal experience.
Well, that does it for us over at Jiko. Um, everything was very delicious. So I think it was definitely worth the $65 for all of that food. The only thing that I would say is if maybe you're not really the most adventurous eater, it's probably not going to be something that you would like. But she's not always the True. most adventurous and she loved everything. I'm not very picky, but sometimes I don't really want to try new things if they sound kind of weird. I definitely enjoyed everything. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Leave us some comments because we definitely love the interaction. That's right, together. We're, we're Team Zay. <laughs> oh yeah, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Bye.